Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video with me, Elven Dragon. So, last episode we went and built up our observatory here, and put in a copper telescope, which we have not yet been able to get to work. So, unfortunately we may have to go and fill with the lenses and how the light goes through it. But today we are going to be finishing up a few projects around here, up on top of the island. Because, well, we've managed to go and finish the end stone area that we've been working on below. But we are going to be putting some stuff down there later. But first, I want to get a few of our projects up here on the main part of the island done. Starting with our little apiary. So we built up this little area here to give ourselves a few bees. That way we could get a little bit of honey to wax all of our copper in our observatory. But, well, we kind of ran out of our mangrove fences here. So I went and got a few more. That way we can go and finish this up here real quick. I also went and got way more beehives than I think we're actually gonna use in here, but it doesn't really matter. We can go and get those settled. Looks like I need to get a few more fences than I got. So I'm gonna go get the rest of this little kind of trellis that we're using for our support in here. And then I'll be right back. All right, and there we go. We now have six hives here all set up. I think we only have got about three or four bees around here, though, which is fine. Apparently got four of the six hives full with honey now, so that is nice. But it's kind of bland right here, just being out in the open amongst all of our stuff. We do need to bring the rest of the terraforming in, but I think... Now, what we're going to do is we are going to put in some flowering azalea leaves and just kind of drape that over the trellis here and use that just to add a little bit of detail here. Should be good. We do have some regular azalea leaves to mix in here too. And we need to get up on top of this thing. That way we can actually put stuff on top. Now these flowering azalea leaves will serve two purposes. They'll also help by giving the bees some place to go and forage. So that'll be nice. Don't have to worry about putting in any flowers, which we will because we might as well put in a few flowers around here. Just make things look a little bit nicer. And this is going to get annoying with them constantly following me as I put flowers up here. Yeah, that should be nice just seeing them buzz about and gather up stuff from those flowers. And we'll stick a few flowers down here. We'll put in a few azalea bushes, these one block tall azalea bushes around here as well. And I think those should add nice bits of detail. We don't want too much underneath here because, again, we have this whole trellis that will be kind of shading any light from above. But I I think we do kind of want to hide the hives a little bit. Just drape this down. Make sure we don't do all flowers because that wouldn't look quite right. But I think just doing little bits and pieces like this will turn out all right. And plus this gives them plenty of flowers to go and harvest from. And since we're able to put the carpets over the campfires, they won't go and burn. Be good. And this will provide us a nice little honey source out here. Not that we're really going to be needing much more with wax because we have that entire area waxed. But, oh well. It just looks nice. I think the bees are a nice little addition anyway. And makes this little thing blend in a little bit more. Now, if we really wanted to make this blend in, we Probably should be using a bit of cherry, but I think what we have going here is just fine. But I'm going to keep putting in a few more flowers and stuff around here. Maybe we should put in some of our coarse flowers as well, just in this area. Yeah, I don't want the bee area here to be that big of a difference from the terraforming. I think the idea of having the flowers around here should work quite well. And I 
kind of want this to be semi self contained in the terraforming. So I'm going to go get a few more things put in here. I think it's probably getting close to good right about there. And then I'll be right back. And with just a few flowers, we now have quite a bit of spaces for our bees to go and pollinate. We have several of the flowers that are inside our clock, which I think looks good. Basically just going to keep a lot of this stuff here with the flowers and the bushes and stuff just to this area here. The rest of the island, I do want to keep it to be the terraforming that we have over by the village which means we should probably go find some flowering azalea bushes to go in here too. You have the leaves. I don't remember if I actually did that on the other side or not. Not actually. But I do like how it just adds a little bit more like our plants that we've got hanging up there have sprouted some little bushes on the sides. We've got a few of our chorus trees. We need another one back there or so. But I want to wait until we get more of the terraforming in before we start mixing those in. Because as long as those stick to grow, I do want to get more of this in. Oh, okay, so it's cherry bushes we put for the rest of this. And azalea saplings. Okay, we can do that. I think I've got... Yes, a few more of those. We do have a few more cherry leaves. Keep them off a hot bar so our bees don't run around and chase us everywhere. But I am liking how that is turning out. I think we can put a few of these around here. I'm not sure if we need them with the leaves though. But I think, yeah, it would be good to keep this tied in with the rest of the area. That way, if we go through and do the rest, this will kind of just blend in. It'll just look a little different when we go and put it everything around but because this is all just condensed to here it should still blend somewhat this is probably a little heavy on the leaves but i think it looks okay again we've got two spots under here this is probably the hardest part to figure out where to put stuff especially with the bees constantly flying around and getting in the way but there we go I think that looks all right. Just get these placed in here for later. And I think that is a good job decorating our little bee area here. It's kind of nice just seeing the bees just go and fly around and pollinate everything. So many of them. Right a couple more. As you can see, there's a baby in there. I think just about all of these hives are now, yeah, all of them now have honey in them. So probably go find some shears or bottles, collect that up. Because one thing I'm thinking is we are going to actually go and put the little shops and stalls in around the port. Now, I know this was something I had thought about doing before and just never got around to doing. So we've got an area here that we expanded out. We took out the blocks that we had marking this off. So we'll probably put a little stall probably right over here. And we went and turned this whole area into more of just a general square market area. Do you need to put some stuff along there? Do we have any dirt? We have a single piece of dirt. Okay. While we do that, put our trap doors and stuff. Maybe, maybe not the cherry. Probably go get some bamboo and make bamboo trap doors and put it on there. I think that'll blend nicer with this. But as you can see, we've got the posts on the side of the building to do the fences. We just need to get more oak and birch logs. We do have a few here. But I want to save this right now. Do our little stalls. Now, we've got a few different colors of wool here set aside. I think we're going to do three main ones. We got purple for purper and well, forest fruit actually. We've got yellow here for honeycombs and honey, go with our apiary, and we've got some red to go with our beets because those are pretty much the three main things that we are growing out here. Not planning on building a whole bunch of farms again. This is just supposed to be the hub area for exploring more out here and everything else. So I think just having those three where we have the main stuff that you get from the end, we've got beets that we're growing in our villager farm, or the villagers are growing anyway, 
and we have the honey that we've got growing over there. So what I'm thinking is, let's get a few more birch planks. That way we can start building up a small little stall. And these are just going to be tiny little things. Got space there. Do slabs in the front here. Planks there. Actually, one of those needs to be a trap door. Not birch, but it needs to be a trap door so that our market stall actually has a way in. Let's do a fence there. We need more fences. So some spruce because we need more sticks. That's been the main thing that we have been running low on has been sticks. Let's, see, let's do two up to the front. That'll be the front posts. And let's see, we've got that. We'll put barrels on the side. Okay. Um, yeah, we've got plenty of spruce, so we'll just use spruce to get all this so start with three barrels make this the honeycomb one so there we go three barrels let's get our wares in here since we might as well get that set so we'll do honeycomb just kind of send randomly not really any reason to keep it nice and neat make it look like people have been coming here buying stuff don't know what currency we're going to use it'd be interesting i'll have to think about that I don't know if we want to have currency in things. Maybe we'll have it be like the shopkeeper's hanging on to it. So there we go. We now have all the barrels stocked. So we'll just build this up another two blocks so that we have the back here at the same level as our fences. And then we'll just put our canopy over top with the wool. Just do a simple little thing thing here. I don't think we really need much more than that. We'll put a line on the back, cover up that hole, because I don't particularly want to put blocks in the back there. I don't think it would look quite right. Then in the front, we'll take some string and carpet, put a little slightly smaller awning on the front. I think that should be good. Give it a nice little overhang. I don't think that's too bad. Again, it might need to play around with a few things, especially in the back. I'm not too fond of the back, but a small little like stall this looks more like a more permanent thing maybe we'll put this design over there and we'll do some sort of wagon over here we need to play around with that though so i'm going to go figure out what we're going to do we have two more of these to build for the beats and the purper so i'm gonna go Maybe figure out a design for maybe like a little wagon or push cart kind of stall. Maybe move that one over there. It looks a little bit too permanent for a little vendor in a little plaza area here. And then I'll be right back. So I'm not too big of a fan of the canopies that we have on these, but I think the actual little carts themselves don't look too bad. We've got a really tiny little one right here. It's really, really simple with oak trap door wheels. We've got a bit bigger more of a wagon style one here this is one that we're using for our chorus and our chorus fruit which i think that looks good this is pretty much all just stuff that we've gathered from working out here getting end stone for working on the sea floor base down there and then we have a bunch of beetroot in here but i think that those look good it almost feels like we need another one or maybe some more small wagons around here. Just even the little carts just set up around here somewhere. That could be good, but we did go and move the honey shop over here. And I think it looks okay. I do need to work on the awning and stuff as well, which needs to be done in all three of these. But I don't think that they're too bad. This was kind of hard to fit in this space here because this is right next to the building i think for like just a little stall kind of thing that is pretty good this would definitely be a bit more of a permanent stall and have the honey ship in while as these two this would just be a cart that's taken over from the villagers brought over there for being sold and this is just a cart to get the chorus fruit. i don't know where we'd be getting this from probably importing it from the outer end which is what 
should probably put in some of these barrels. Right now we're just using them for random storage for stuff out here. Because I need all of the shulker boxes for other stuff. And we still haven't set up that shulker farm. I think we'll hold off on that for later. For now though, I think that, that is going to be it for today. We got quite a bit of some kind of smaller details in there's still a bunch of detailing still to do and a whole bunch of stuff out here, but just these little bits of detail help so much. Again, I we need another cart in here. Probably won't put an awning on it, but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more of what is going on in this end hub and in the rest of this world. And I will catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.